Yeah. Um, just um, first of all, appreciate y'all being here. Um, you know, it's a big week for us. We've got um, three practices that we can get better. Um, we've got a game Saturday at 1. And, uh, um, you know, we're obviously disappointed with the way things turned out on Sunday. Um, but, you know, sometimes those things happen. Um, again, at the end of the day, it's um, I've got to have them ready. Um, as I said before, you know, we, we didn't have great – Great practices leading up to that game, and then uh, we always, you know, we we really pride ourselves on being tough and and physical, and uh, we got out tough and we got out physical Sunday. I mean, there's just there's really not a way to sugarcoat that. Uh, I think the kids saw that yesterday in film. The film doesn't lie. Um, I've said this many times, y'all. You don't ever want to walk in the locker room after a game and having lost by one and you were somebody that missed a finger roll layup like a finger roll is an eye play you know that's not a team play that's an eye play so if you could have gone in there and just made a regular old plain old vanilla you know plain old hot dog no mustard no ketchup layup instead of uh trying to do something that's outside the norm and then you missed it you don't ever want to be that player and the same said about you don't ever want to lose a game and look back and it was, we missed a free throw blockout. The problem Sunday is we missed a bunch of free throw blockouts. It wasn't one, it was a bunch. And, um, you know, as proud as I am of our team, we had 20 offensive rebounds. Um, we gave up 18, but we just really were poor on the free throw line blocking out. And again, that's. Obviously, I've not done a very good job of, of coaching that and teaching that, so that's something that will be a real point of emphasis for us the rest of the year. And, and I think with these kids, they understand. They've seen it now, um, and they understand the importance of that. So, But just fit from a physical standpoint, we were just really um, – they were just really more physical than we were, to be honest with you. And um, we, we usually – you can't say that about my teams in the past um, – and this team, you know, they like to think that they're pretty tough and they play pretty hard, and they do. They, Sunday we played extremely hard. I was really distraught and heartbroken for them because they. it's not about playing hard, y'all. It, it wasn't about that. They played their heart out, played their guts out, um, forced 24 turnovers, had 15 steals. So, man, you're doing a lot of really good things there, but we shot it poorly, 30%. Uh, we missed some critical free throws. I think somebody told me today we started out nine for nine, and we went 11 for 17. So you can do the math. We went two for eight down the stretch and 0 for six, I think, in one stretch. So, you know, those are all it's, – it's not terminal. Uh, those are all things that are correctable. Um, these are all things that, that uh, I know will get fixed, and I know our kids are anxious to fix. So – um, it's part of the learning process. The important thing is now that we learn from it and we don't have it raise its ugly head again. So um, yeah, I'm excited to get back. I've been gone two days recruiting. I haven't seen them. Uh, they may not think it, but I miss them. I miss being around them. Um, and, and so I'm, I'm anxious to get back on the court with them today. You know, it's a special time of year, Thanksgiving. I couldn't be more thankful for this group. They're, they're a lot of fun. They're playing extremely hard, doing a lot of really good things early in the year. We just had some things kind of go against us on Sunday, and we just couldn't quite weather it. And there were a lot of things. It wasn't just the things I've mentioned. There were other things that occurred as well. So we've got to learn to, to navigate that. And, again, I've got to do a better job. Yeah, so, again, we win the game if we make free throws or we, or we handle free throw blockouts. Well, that's, that's pretty doable. <laughs> I mean, if, if, if we'd have handled that on Sunday, we win the game. Maybe win it by 10. So, that's the encouraging thing. I mean, it's discouraging to lose a game and lose it like that, but it's what's encouraging. As long as I'm not having to coach their heart, um, and I can just coach their mind. That's uh, you know that's what a coach wants. And 
Um, while our practices weren't great and we were coaching a lot of hard on those days, when the lights have come on this year, they've played pretty hard. And, uh, you know, that's always encouraging for me. And it's fun for me, quite honest. I mean, I can coach in a huddle. I can talk about a lot of things, but I don't have to tell them, hey, well, we got to ramp it up. we got to turn it on. I mean, it, that's not an issue. Well, it certainly affected our rotation. Um, Aaliyah Moore being the biggest one that affects my rotation because she plays multiple positions, which then allows Audrey to play multiple positions. And and so um, I, I don't really have any update. I think Kobe's going to be half court today, which is better than what she's been. She's been no court. So I think we're, we're making some progress there. Uh, I don't know that I have really any more information on anybody else. Uh, uh, I know that we've, you know, it, it's a day to day thing with all of them, but I don't know that today will be different than tomorrow, <laughs> you know. Um, so we'll just, uh, we'll go to war with, with the ones we got right now. Uh, I think we have nine, maybe 10. Um, and um, again, those kids, uh, man, I'm, I'm encouraged by them and, and how hard they're playing, but we need to get those others back. Those are some pretty critical, um, you know, pieces to the puzzle and really allow us to be really special. And, uh, again, I thought Sunday the ones that played, you know, really did all they could do, you know, other than we just had some, some hiccups. Yeah, no, we, we, we don't – we won't approach it that way. Uh, you know, they've played some good people, played UCLA, and, and uh, they won't be intimidated coming in here. Uh, I know the coach well. Uh, she does a great job. And uh, I've actually had to play against her uh, her teams before. So she's a veteran in the women's coaching industry. And, uh, um, you know, they'll have our utmost attention. I think what we'd have now is three days to get better before we play on Saturday. Um, but we'll, we'll have a, a complete and thorough scouting report on them just like we do everybody. And um, we'll go into that with a specific game plan. Uh, we've got them on Saturday and another one on Wednesday before we go back, you know, into another, you know, beehive on, on the following Sunday on the road. So um, we've got We've got two home games. That's that's what I can say. And uh, you know, we didn't play well our last home game. We won by 41. And uh, so I think our kids understand the importance of playing well and doing it our way. Mm -hmm. um, I think we, like Coach said, we play extremely hard. Um, right now, we just gotta clean up on the details. Um, I think we have so much potential to be really, really good. Um, but like, like you said on Sunday, we we couldn't hit shots down the stretch. We couldn't hit free throws down the stretch. So you know, like the details that make teams really special and really, really hard to beat. Um, we're missing that right now, so um, we're just going to try to cultivate that and um, grow. And, yeah, we'll see where we're at in, in a couple weeks from now. Yeah, like going off of what Joe said, I think we we do work really hard, but we also have a lot of room to grow. Like, as she said and Coach said, um, the details and our decision making, I guess, further down the stretch in games. Um, Tennessee, State, I mean, in all the games that we've played, just haven't been the best, and although – some of those games we've won and Tennessee we lost. I think just bouncing back from that and learning from our mistakes and, and making sure, um, although we do have three seniors on the team with 
we do have a lot of new people, just making sure we can get on one page and, and um, understand the importance of the details and the small mistakes and you know using that feedback from, from the game and moving forward, getting ready to attack for the next games coming forward. Well, it's we're not there yet because <laughs> we just have these couple of days off and then you're getting ready for the finals. But definitely, I can't wait for that. That that's luxury to me. Like just hooping. That's just that's just everything to me. So um, yeah, I can't wait till I can just put school on the back burner for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it's it's nice not being in class, but we we're still working on homework and, yeah. and projects and papers. So. But it's nice not having to, I guess, wake up and go to class, you know. So. What's your favorite part of Thanksgiving for all three of you? Besides the food and, <laughs> and, um, and the food, what's your favorite thing <laughs> to eat? Well, okay, favorite things to eat are probably mac and cheese and yams. But I think my favorite part in general of Thanksgiving is just, like, family time. Um, and then also the fact that Thanksgiving, I think, is, like, one of the times where, like, every sport, well, the sports that I'm – I love watching like basketball, football, all one. So it's it's like a good a good time to you know really be thankful for your family and just the position we're in, you know, being at Texas and you know, yeah. Yeah, same. Like just being with family, it's it's a blessing. Um, you you can't take like the time we have like a little that little time we have with our family during the year like for granted. So. Um, yeah, just family for me. Um, my birthday was yesterday, so it's like, Ooh. you know, a good time. <laughs> so, yeah. So. Thanksgiving was always m one of my mother's favorite holidays. Thanksgiving and Easter were probably her two favorite, and uh, they, they grew to be mine as well. Um, I don't know if Thanksgiving is just that first one, you know, in a stretch where you have Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, um, that time or what. Typically, I'm with my team and we're in some faraway place playing. This is two years in a row now that we've been at home. Um, and, uh, you know, next year we'll be in the Battle for Atlantis tournament. And so we won't be here. That's what I'm used to. But I'm I'm with my family, right? My team, and so I'm going to be with my team tomorrow. Uh, uh, we always cook at the Schaefer's. Um, typically, we have the team over. Uh, I haven't been here in two days, so I'm not sure. I've heard some rumblings of some other things going on, but uh, we have so many kids from close by that they may try to to sneak home, which is fine. I, I you know I'm all about being around family. I know some of us have family coming in town. And so they may do their, you know, they may do their own thing. And that's my biggest concern. I just don't want anybody sitting at the dorm by themselves, you know. If uh, So, but we're going to have all the fixings at my house, and anybody that wants to come is, uh, we, we love to have them. And uh, I, I look forward to my mother's uh, dressing recipe and probably as much as anything. It's, uh, it ain't stuffing, it's dressing. And uh, it's, uh, it's really, really special. So, um you know, just really thankful. You know, it's a it's a great time to really reflect and uh, look around and and see how blessed you are. You know, and uh, I'm just uh, really really uh, thankful for the opportunity to be with these young ladies, be at Texas. Thankful for this team. Thankful for my family, and uh, you know, I know they have. Joe's got a wonderful mother, and mm -hmm. Lauren's got a wonderful mother and father, and. Um, you know, I was really blessed to have a great mother and father as well. So thankful for, for all that, and uh, we just got to go to work. So, Pat, I want to hear what your most favorite food is, but I also want to hear what your least favorite Thanksgiving food is. So favorite, least favorite. Um, well, like I said, mac and cheese and yams are yeah. probably my go-to. We don't really have mashed potatoes at our house, like whenever we have Thanksgiving, but I would say like mashed potatoes are my least favorite. I don't, I'm not the biggest potato person, so I don't, like, I kind of stray away from mashed potatoes and gravy. I would say, um, I'm not a 
say mac and cheese is my favorite. Um, I don't eat turkey during Thanksgiving. I don't know. It's just it's, it's dry. Just not, it's dry. <laughs> I don't know. It's just not. Again, the the dressing for me is is the key. Uh, I'm gonna make giblet gravy out of the out of the uh, the juice that comes from the turkey that I cook in the cooking bag. Mom, they didn't have cooking bags back in the day when I was a kid. And Mom had to cook it and open it up and baste it with the juice that was falling on the bottom of the pan to keep it moist so that it, Joe would eat it right. <laughs> <clears throat> and um, and so uh, now with the cooking bag, it, it's it's able to keep its moisture but never been a a big fan of uh of peas um you know I've ate I've eaten them and I used to eat them holding my nose when I was a kid you know mom wanted me to eat and she'd only put like a tablespoonful but the rule at the house was you got to eat everything on your plate right and they're trying to teach you to eat them so I'd eat them holding my nose uh, like that matters, I guess, but that's what we did. But, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a real traditional guy. I like corn. I like green beans. Uh, I do love homemade mashed potatoes. Um, and, uh, and then for me, I got to have pie, you know, for dessert. I got to have a, a cherry cream pie from the Bonton on the Grange or, uh, or, a, a pecan pie that my mother used to make. It was always really special too. So, um, those are, those are all the go-tos. It's not just one for me, but I got to have dressing, and I'm going to make my own. I don't really care for store-bought. You know, it's just not the thing for me. This year, I plan on cooking all of it. Last year, we tried to cater. It was late. Um, kids were at my house. We were in COVID, wearing masks, spread out everywhere. It was just terrible. It was no fun, and, you know, at least this year, we don't have to be that way. And uh, so... Anyway, I, I just want to make sure our kids are with family, you know, and friends for the most part. And um, again, we're we're all really thankful. I also don't like pie. <laughs> I really don't like pie. Yeah, and I love cranberry sauce. Sorry, I had to add those. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Appreciate y'all being here. Thank you. Praise the Lord and hook them. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.